you actually completed. How are you feeling now? I feel fantastic. I feel so much different than I ever hoped I would in just three weeks' time. It's amazing. All right, let's talk a little bit about what's gone on physically first within, within those first three weeks. Tell people how you felt, what thoughts you had, what your ups and downs were. Mm -hmm. Give us a little bit of that story in the background so other people would know what they have to go through in order to be able to achieve this type of health. Sure. It was, um, you know, it's been a lot of work. It hasn't been easy for sure. Um, the results have certainly made it worth it. I've had, you know, normal, probably mood ups and downs. I, I think it was last Friday when I saw you, I mentioned I was glad we weren't doing my video that day because I was woke up feeling fat and cranky. Um, I don't feel that way today, I'm happy to say. Uh, my sleep, my, you know, my goal I think when I was talked a couple weeks ago was to have my sleep improve without um, prescription medication and I've cut my prescription down to one quarter of what I was taking before and I've actually only taken it twice in the past seven days and I didn't take it last night. So my sleep is definitely... Have you done this under the advisement of anybody? You're just doing this on your own? Oh, my doctor. No, I talked to my doctor about it. I wasn't, oh, you know... Okay. Yeah, I wasn't going to just go ahead and do it. And um, I didn't want people to get the, the the strange illusion that I was, you know, no. doing this for you, so... <laughs> no, Dr. Boulay, it wasn't you. <laughs> um, so that's, you know, that's just been a great physical change for me. And... I feel like I can breathe easier. Uh -huh. Like I feel like anything I've lost or what I've lost has been sort of my middle, which is where it needs to go and around my rib cage and I I feel like I can breathe better. Okay. Which was sort of an unexpected benefit. Where do you feel like you've had the most challenges? Is it the daytime, the mid afternoon, or is it the evening that gives you the most to uh, my biggest difficulty is probably eating enough now because now that I've started eating clean food if that's the right word um, healthy food at first you know it was a struggle I felt like I was starting a diet and um, was missing out on things and I just I stuck to it because I knew I knew it would come and it has and now I'm, I'm eating so much better so much better and I know that's happening um, helping rather but now I need to make sure that I'm eating enough protein mm -hmm. and these are things you're learning along the way from the coaches oh absolutely stuff that I've learned here I was talking with um, Donna one of the health coaches the other day and I told her how I have you know sort of a skeptic and you know because I've been down this road before and so when you guys would you know tell me about eating protein within an hour after working out and it's like hmm and so I you know of course did a bunch of research and yeah, absolutely, and that's something I didn't do before because I was afraid of eating too much and um, but eating the right things. Everything you guys have told me, I've gone. <laughs> sorry, probably should have told you this before, but I went and checked it out, and it, you know, it's accurate. You guys know your stuff; it's great. No, that's that's a great thing because we want people to research what we say. Mm -hmm. You know, the the company was called Integrity for a purpose, mm -hmm. and it was to help people to get their integrity back, not only the ethical and moral part of the definition, but the completeness, in the, the completeness and the wholeness of the individual to get back their health so that they can operate and functional at a high quality and have a great quality of life, mm -hmm. which is, for a lot of Americans today, that's been taken away. And we are working hard to try to give that back. And we believe that through women, that's possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. But this is not about integrity as much as it is about <laughs> you at this point. Um, so you really didn't say too much about emotionally. How was your, your mood? Oh, then? my mood. My, except for the one fat and cranky day, uh, my mood is so much improved. I wake up in the morning and I'm alert. Um, you know, I do cardio in the morning at home, as you guys suggested I do. And, you know, I don't know, as you would, the benefits to my health. You know, what difference that bit of cardio in the morning makes other than I drive to work wide awake now. Um, no, you know, I'm not getting up and dragging out of bed and, you know, half asleep driving down the road. I leave my house pretty much the same time. My morning routine hasn't been really terribly interrupted, but I wake up now and I'm alert when I wake up and I, you know, do a little bit of cardio in the morning to get things started.
and that's made a huge difference in my mood. I'm more productive already. Um, you know, I'm sleepy at night when I go to bed. And I don't feel lethargic or, you know, like I ate too much garbage and, you know, that sort of tired. You feel like just a natural tired? Absolutely, yeah. 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 Good. Probably more so on the, you know, nights that I come work out, but either way. I think in the next part of the series we're going to try to get you and interview a little bit exercising out on the floor. Uh, what, tell us a little bit about the exercise program and how you feel during the exercise program. Um, the exercise program is great. I love, you know, the first week that I was here, I thought some of the exercises, geez, they seemed, they seemed a little easy and I came to you um, concerned about that because I was just used to throwing, you know, 250 pounds on a leg press machine, you know, and then not being able to walk for a week and thought that was progress. Um, but I love how each week I've noticed, um, you guys never told me this, but I noticed on my card that I use every day that I'm here, the weights have increased. Um, and that's, that's made the difference. You know, yesterday when I worked out, especially on my upper body, toward the end, I was, I was feeling it, you know. And I looked and I'm like, oh no, because in two days now, I'm, you know, I'm going to go up another five pounds or 15 pounds. Um, but that's great because I feel like I'm doing it the right way this time. I'm being challenged, but I'm not getting discouraged. Yeah, and, and are you making your goals week uh, week to week? So yes, far? I am. Yeah, absolutely, no problem. Um, I've really made this a priority to come here every day, and if that means you know I don't leave for the beach till ten tomorrow morning because <laughs> I'm coming here, so be it. You know, this has become a part of my day. Okay, let's address the diabetes for a second. Mm -hmm. um, as we know, we started you after a week of uh, being on the program. We noticed a a little bit of a change in the in the morning blood sugars. Mm -hmm. What has been what you've noticed over the last two weeks, so we could kind of let other people know that have been who are type two diabetics what they can expect to see in the second and third week of a program. Um, I noticed. I looked back to see what my blood sugars had been um, two weeks ago, and they were averaging in the one fifties. I think one forty four was my low. Um, now my low has been 130. Um, there was one day where it spiked, uh, it was like 167 or something like that. But looking back at my food journals, um, I didn't have a snack that night. And again, it was an issue of you know, not eating enough because I didn't feel hungry. And other than that, my blood sugars have really been closer to 130 where they had been the lowest was, you know, in the 140s. Mm -hmm. So that's been, you know, that's been a big change for sure. And I'm looking forward to them coming down more. Okay. Um, how about your clothes? Are you noticing any difference in your clothes? Or <laughs> What's so funny? Because I, <laughs> I walked in today all excited that I don't have a, as much of a muffin top anymore. Um, yeah, this morning I was uh, getting dressed for work and we have a casual work day on Fridays um, but it's a professional office so there's some parameters so I was kind of going through you know I have all these pants that I know don't fit so I don't even try right now and I picked out one pair and I don't know why maybe I was testing myself you know giving myself an excuse to complain I put them on and they came right up they buttoned and <laughs> it was amazing um, so that was exciting and I definitely as I said earlier feel it through like my rib cage area, um, the most, and it's a definite, definite noticeable change. 